In Washington, security is high around the Capitol one day before a planned far right rally. Now that rally isn't expected to be very large by Washington standards and officials say after the January 6th insurrection attempt, though, they can't take any chances. Chris Pallone is on Capitol Hill with the latest. In Washington, security fences once again encircled the U.S. Capitol building and the Supreme Court. The city bracing for a rally in support of people arrested during the January 6th Capitol riot. They're going to come Saturday again. They have their plans to come. Everybody will be ready more ready for them. A former Trump campaign official has organized the rally he's calling Justice for J6. People have not engaged. Matt Brainerd says the event is to support nonviolent offenders charged in the January 6th riot, people he calls political prisoners. He says it will be 100% peaceful. Others aren't so sure. Well, I'm, I'm pretty confident we won't see a repeat of occupying the Capitol. I'm not confident we won't see violence. I am confident that law enforcement is more prepared. Members of Congress are being asked not to go to the Capitol Saturday, and it's all hands on deck for the Capitol and Washington, D.C. police forces. Online chatter about the protest suggests a small turnout. You know, <clears throat> every social media post and extremist forum post that I've seen that I've been watching the last couple of weeks has all said stay far away from this event. Proud Boys have told their people don't come. QAnon has told their people don't come. Um, all the extremist forums that cheered on the January 6th Capitol attack seem to believe that this event is like a false flag or a honey pot. If all goes well, Capitol officials say the fences will come down soon after the rally ends.